Hello everyone and welcome to our this year's interview. Today I have the pleasure to have with me Christina and Gerald who will talk about their experience in Finding Need India Trust so far. Welcome guys! What about the experiences and new opportunities that this internship uh, gave you guys? Do you guys maybe have some good moments or anecdote um, that happened during this internship that you want to share? Uh, I think this internship has been a series of good moments, you know, like every month or every week you have something uh, you liked or something that it was good, some meetings. I mean, I think our meetings are really good. Um, it might be that some of them are really long and you do find yourself very exhausted, but then uh, at the end, but then, you know, like you just think about it and it was like, oh, it was such a good meeting or you have the time to actually speak, you know, you have the space to speak and to get ideas and to, um, you know, like send your inputs uh, to other people. So I think, yeah, I think it's a series of good moments. So it was good. And then struggle, um, Okay, so I came from finishing a very demanding year because the master that I've done, it was very, very demanding. And, you know, I finished end of August, um, one day before I had my flight to come back from uh, home. So that was very exhausting and I needed to pack, meanwhile, finishing my thesis. And then I arrived here and it was, um, it was just finding a job all the time for a month and then I started it, you know, so I didn't have proper holiday where I can actually con disconnect. So that was, uh, the beginning was a bit, I, I struggled a bit. I was feeling very tired. I mean, I still am because I didn't have any holidays yet because Christmas, I don't count for it because you cannot leave your house. So that is also not really holidays. So I feel very tired all the time, but at the beginning it, it, it really was a bit of a struggle. And then also home office, I don't like it. I think some people may like remote working. I don't like it at all. I need, I, I mean, I don't know. I've, I'm from the south of Europe, you know, Spaniards, Italians, all these kind of people. We are very social. So, social. and I like, yeah, I like how I was very social in the master while I still work 12 or 10 hours a day. So I, it's not that you don't work, but you you introduce your social life to your work. I and mean, I think you're more productive and more efficient, you know? And so remote working is really lonely. So I spend all my days here at home in my room all the time. And you also don't have boundaries, you know? You, you finish working and then you're still in the same place. So you don't take time coming from work to think about it. So you bring work at home, you know? So I don't really like it. And I came also from being... Uh, working, uh, studying in my master since March also remotely. So it was just like a continuous. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was, I think that is, that is where I struggle the most, like home office. Yeah, yeah I don't, I'm not a very social person, but I still don't like working from home. Like it was fun for a little bit, obviously. Uh, but yeah, as you say, it gets lonely. And we're used to working, but we're not used to working just sitting in one spot for a super long period of time. You need to do different things to kind of just distract you for a little bit. And right now, like if you're if you're working from home and you're just working just like that, the only thing that does that is your phone. And that can either swallow up your time or it just makes you feel worse about the fact that you're spending more time on your phone and that's time working. So yeah, like work from home isn't the greatest for me as well. Like I don't like working in, like, I like my setup. I, I literally have a laptop here and a TV in front of me, so it's amazing. Like, you don't get these setups under normal internship circumstances. But at the same time, like, it is just, like, it's frustrating when you just need to sit at home and the only thing you've been doing is working and you can't go outside after you're done. There's nothing to do to actually, like, wind down and just be like, okay, cool, I'm done with my day. So it's literally, like, I remember... This was worse when, like, when I just started my internship as well, where I was staying in, at my cousin's place in Rotterdam because out of the blue, like, I think March, I still remember the date, March 9th, professor randomly gives me a call and she's like, okay, so I'm going to Paris right now. Uh, and I think the Dutch, like, the Netherlands is going to shut down, like, the railway systems or something because COVID's getting really bad. So if you have family in the Netherlands, I think you should go and live with them. Like, okay, I have my cousin here. 
like how long should I pack for because I need to go and do my laundry and all of that which is like hopefully it should be done soon so maybe just pack for like a week or two weeks ago uh, that was funny because all of my stuff is now coming back from the state to Dubai because like <laughs> Well, I've been living off a duffel bag for like in, for like a year and a half right now. It's one duffel bag, two hoodies, two t-shirts, three shorts. Like that's it. <laughs> that's my entire like. That's my entire sense of fashion for two for almost a year and a half now. And all of my like now, I think my one of my friends he went back to Mystic for our graduation, and he's basically organized like a transport company to courier all of my stuff back to Dubai. But During the first few like months of my internship, I was basically I was sleeping on a couch, like a couch that was too small for me. Sleeping on the couch for like four hours a day. I wake up, I sit on my laptop. I sit on my laptop for eighteen hours. I close my laptop. I go down for a five minute walk. I come back and I go back to bed. Like that was my entire day, from like March to July. Like the entire every single day did not change at all. Like I'm super in debt to my cousin to like kick me in and like do all of that, but still, it's not. You can't really work very well in that in that environment. And during that time, there was like the normal internship stuff, which was being a academy project and everything. The COVID, like the COVID relief, this thing, the the information booklet that we were making, and the thesis, and on top of that, just. Mentally coming in terms with COVID, so like all of those things together was like probably one of the most stressful situations I've been in. Like one thing I can give credit to professor because like I had so much work to do that I didn't even realize that COVID was a thing that was happening outside. That's how like that's how tunnel vision I was on work that I, like it never like COVID at any point it didn't really affect me too heavily because like I always had too much work to do and. Also, like luckily, I never actually went through like a strict lockdown. Like I managed to leave the Netherlands just when it was getting getting really bad, and I managed to came to the come to Dubai just when it was getting better. So there was no point where I had like a strict lockdown. The only lockdown I had was my parents telling me not to leave the house. Like there wasn't a government enforced lockdown. My mom counts as a government, but there wasn't a government enforced lockdown ever. <laughs> so that was really good for me. But in terms of like the internship and everything, like again, as Christine, as I think, it was a series of good moments. Everything went off really, really well for us. Like maybe like our conversation for the World Water Day, me and Professor for the Academy project, like us for P two, us for the website, like through all the stuff that we did, it was a series of good moments that you can't really pinpoint one and be like, yeah, that was amazing. But everything that we did and worked together was was really, really nice. Uh, So yeah, I think like probably after the World Water Day, I've taken the liberty to actually start relaxing by myself. So I'm I'm really happy with that. That's really cool. But I think like through working with the World Water Day as well, we had these really cool moments with the speakers and everything. But we had all of them into one session. Those were also really really nice. So you can't really pinpoint one. Be like, yeah, that was that was like an amazing moment. It was like a fantastic experience across the board. And every experience is going to have its challenges, and that's what helps you grow as a person. Like the good moments aren't the ones that help you grow the most. It's it's the challenges, the bad ones. It's the ones where you're really tired at the end of it. So like those challenges are the reasons like we can say that we've grown as people through this internship. And the good moments are the ones that made the growing worth it. So it was awesome. Like overall, maybe as a final question. Um... Maybe what new things came out of this internship? Maybe new opportunities or new jobs, and maybe what's next for you guys? What are your hmm. plans? <laughs> uh, so, like for me, like it was uh, a lot of new things came out of this internship. Namely, like more specifically, me looking towards education as a career path. So, like I think first first main thing right now is that through this internship, me Riley was an ex intern as well and professor. We applied for a grant to the U.S. State Department to allow us to conduct a project against uh, littering by tourists. Uh, that grant was accepted, and we are we basically have a project in line in May. So for the months of May, June, and July, me, Riley, and two other uh, like not interns but two of his friends will the, the team of four or five of us will be going to Uti to conduct our project. So that's the first thing that we're going to, that's going to be doing like in my near future. 
because like i think the end of this month is the end of my internship with finn as well like it's it's a contractual end but i'll still be doing work for professor when which needs me to because i'm going to be in india as well uh but beyond that with professor's help as well i'm going to be joining something called teach for india which is it's basically a fellowship program for 2 years where i'm going to be teaching about 40 to 50 students uh from underprivileged backgrounds at a, a low income government or private school uh and the magic of this program is that you kind of get a lot of flexibility to teach them one the way you would like you would have liked to be taught and two the things that would you that you would like to be taught so with that entire combination like we are professor also looking towards the apply to involve another uh, like another aspect of the green academy project for sustainability education and imbibe that into their curriculum and see how that would work out uh so i'm very very excited to see where that goes because like the green academy project being our baby as well it would be really cool to see whether an indian school implementing that could actually go could actually do well for its students and see how it could impact the the overarching community around it um so so yeah that's i think that's what's coming ahead for me um for me i well we had the opportunity uh of you know right in a policy brief uh with uh shama and actually you know having a actual publication which I, i think is really interesting for us and and also it really looks good on the cv let's be honest <laughs> um and also i had the opportunity to work with her on a book chapter so that is also another publication i just i didn't thought that i would have any academic publications to be honest because i didn't really like academic writing uh but now the way that shama does it is just like really interesting and it it just like it writes for itself you know like it's the way you do it is just just really automatic but at the same time you learn a lot so i think um that is really a really good opportunity uh for me and then uh now i just signed a contract a job contract for 3 months on a project um so i'm really excited it's going to be my first salary so i'm really happy for that as well and i will be i mean i actually am starting this week and it will give it will be until um end of july so i'm really excited about it so yeah really good things coming um our way let's say yep. so i think that that is the beauty of this internship some some other internships they just like you know you are there for 3 4 or 6 months uh you do the, your things they say thank you and then it's it's done and then you're done you, know, you, you leave the institution or the organization or the company uh but the beauty about this internship is that actually shama cares about uh, each one of us and what we can achieve in the future and she makes it happen so that is really 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 nice and really i don't know self- selfless of of her you know because she could really not really care you know i mean or maybe care about the internship and and for us to learn everything uh the months that we are here but then then beyond she that doesn't now, really yeah. need to yeah she doesn't really need to do anything else or or help us uh, to get farther but she does you know so that's that's really 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 nice and really and I'm, i'm really grateful for that so well thank you so much guys for this uh, interview it was very very insightful and um yeah all the best for future and everything <laughs> thanks so much thank you